Most criminals are captured and found guilty for their crimes. However, sometimes cases don't get solved, leaving our communities in a terrified state, fearing that these killers will strike again. With little evidence and no suspects, sometimes police have no other option but to let a case go cold. The following serial killer cases have never been solved. These are 10 chilling serial killers never caught. Number 10, The Babysitter. Responsible for four more child murders during 1976 and 1977 in Oakland County, Michigan, these chilling crimes shook America when in a period of 13 months, four children were abducted, held for a period of four to 19 days, and then murdered. Their bodies were being left all over the county. Nicknamed The Babysitter, this killer triggered a massive murder investigation which at the time was the largest in US history. Fear and mass hysteria swept Michigan, with parents keeping a watchful eye on their kids. Despite the massive manhunt, the murders still remain unsolved to date. Number 9. Petrus Park Murders Between 2007 and 2008, 13 murders of gay men took place in Petrus Park, located in Carabacuiba, Brazil. Dubbed the Rainbow Maniac, the killer's victims were shot and killed. Officials from Sao Paulo State Public Safety Department announced that the perpetrator could be a state police officer. The policeman was later put on trial, but released after being found not guilty. The murders are still yet to be solved. Number 8. Axeman of New Orleans The Axeman was active in New Orleans, Louisiana from 1918 to 1919. Murdering his victims with an axe, the Axeman would smash down the back doors of random residents and attack the people inside with an axe or straight razor. The attacks were not robberies due to no items having been removed from the houses. Police believe that the murders were racially related as the victims were often Italian-American. The killer was also known to have stated that he would spare the lives of those who played jazz in their homes. Number 7. The Phantom Killer In 1946, the twin cities of Texarkana, Texas and Texarkana, Arkansas, a serial killer started attacking his victims at night on the weekends. In total, five people were killed whilst three more were injured. Only two injured victims were able to give a description of the attacker. They described a six-foot-tall man wearing a white sack on his head with holes cut out for eyes and mouth. The killer nearly always killed three weeks apart and used a .32 caliber pistol. After one of the murders, the sheriff on the case stated, This killer is the luckiest person I have ever known. No one sees him, hears him in time, or can identify him in any way. This led to the murder being named the Phantom Killer, with the killings themselves being known as the Texarkana Moonlight Murders. Some speculate that these killings may have been the early work of the Zodiac Killer. Number six. Highway of Tears. 18 murders were confirmed along a desolated stretch of highway located in British Columbia, Canada. The first murder occurred in 1969, while the most recent murder was committed in 2006. Many of the victims were hitchhikers and a majority of them were from the First Nations community, suggesting a targeting of Aboriginal Canadians. Authorities have confirmed 18 victims so far. However, First Nations organizations estimate that over 40 women have fallen prey to this murderous stretch of road. Many allege that shoddy investigation work, lack of media attention and racism are contributing to their killer escaping justice. Number 5. Alphabet Murders In the blue-collar city of Rochester, New York, three young girls were murdered in the early 1970s. Aged between 10 and 11, they were raped and strangled. What makes this series of murders strange is the fact that they were all linked by the alphabet. Each of the girls' first and last names started with the same letter. Their bodies were found in nearby towns that began with those letters also. After hundreds of suspects having been questioned, no one has ever been charged. Number 4. Freeway Phantom In Washington, D.C. during 1971 and 1972, six African-American girls were found raped and murdered. The girls were aged between 10 and 19 years of age. Most of the victims haven't got out on errands and never returned. Dubbing the killer Freeway Phantom, the last of the killer's victims, Brenda Woodward, was found with a chilling note stuffed in her pocket, which read, This is tantamount to my insensitivity to people, especially women. I will admit the others when you catch me if you can. Number 3. Redhead Murderer Located in the states of Tennessee, Arkansas, Kentucky, Mississippi and Pennsylvania, eight female bodies were discovered. All of these unsolved murders had one thing in common. The victims all had red hair. 
The first murder was found in Weltzell County, West Virginia in 1983, though some suspect that the killing spree began in 1978. The victims were most likely hitchhiking or engaged in prostitution. Number two, Colonial Parkway Killer. In another US state, four separate couples met their shocking ends along the Colonial Parkway in Virginia. The mysterious killer only targeted lovebirds, taking their first victims in 1986. The couple seemed to have been oblivious to the dangers. The only evidence police have been able to find was a tuft of hair left in the hand of a victim. Police have stated the killer may very well be a law enforcement officer. Number one, Zodiac Killer. Five victims have been confirmed while another 20 to 29 people are presumed to have been murdered by the infamous Zodiac Killer. Located in the San Francisco Bay Area, the killings began in the late 1960s after the Zodiac Killer claimed the lives of two men and three women between the ages of 16 and 29. On August 7, 1969, the killer sent a letter to various newspapers naming himself as the Zodiac Killer. More mysterious letters were sent containing four cryptograms, only one of them was ever solved. It read, I like killing people because it is so much fun. It is more fun than killing wild game in the forest because man is the most dangerous animal of all to kill. Something gives me the most thrilling experience. It is even better than getting your rocks off with a girl. The best part of it is that when I die, I will be reborn in paradise and those I have killed will become my slaves. I will not give you my name because you will try to slow down or stop my collection of slaves for my afterlife. In a final letter received in 1974, the Zodiac Killer claimed to have murdered 37 people, even though only seven were linked back to him. Only two male targets survived and described the killer as wearing a black hood and a black shirt wearing a weird white cross hair symbol, which also appeared in his letters. The case remains inactive, however, is frequently reopened. Now that is one crazy nutter.